Just the day before, Sasha and Tuska, the cat, were in their home in Volchansk. Now they're in a centre for displaced people in Kharkiv, getting a meal ahead of an uncertain future. What can be the plans of a man who has no home? For now, in Kharkiv, in this place, but what could be my plans? Sasha just explained to me that this is all they've got. He lived all of his life in Vovchansk and they've got maybe four or five bags. That's what's left of that life now. 8,000 people have fled as Russian forces have crossed the border and into northeast Ukraine. A new offensive which has captured several villages and resulted in street fighting in the biggest border town, Vovchansk. As Russian forces advance, rescue parties are trying to get people out. Amid explosions and, they say, attacks on their vehicles. The roads are being shelled. Grenades, bombs are being dropped from drones. Sometimes you even need to get out of the car, put your hands on it and show that you're a civilian, that you're taking the elderly. But that doesn't always help. After we spoke, Dimitra drove back to try and pick up more people. Victoria and her parents face their own problems getting here, fleeing by bicycle. We were shot at with automatic weapons in the crossroads where we passed. A car of soldiers helped us. We jumped into their car. They said, hold on, because now we will go at the speed of light. A little bit of them. Now they're staying in one of the few rooms in the centre. It's meant mostly for processing, and most other people have gone on to friends or relatives. But they've got no one to take them in. At least they reached safety, they told us. Then a bomb alert went off, and they huddled in the corridor, away from the windows. Even Ukraine's second city, under constant bombardment, isn't really a safe haven for these people. John Holman, Al Jazeera. Kharkiv. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.